You ever see those videos that your friends send you when they get married and they have new children? They have newborns and they put their child on the floor, right? And they say, they put him on his back and they say, oh, we're teaching him how to crawl. So like you see this, you sometimes you feel bad for this child, right? You see this baby, I don't know how old they are when they start crawling or walking. I don't know what will help me. One year old, two year old, I forgot for my kids already. One year old, not two years, two years old, too long. One year old or a few months, eight months. So you see this child, he's on his back and he's like, like this boy is trying to move and he's trying to flip. And when he flips, they say, yay! Mazel Tov, he finally flipped. And after he flips, a few months later, he starts crawling and everybody's so going crazy. Everybody's so happy. Let's say you go into, and now the parents are ecstatic because this is, the, this is the procedure. This is the step. You go from your back to your stomach. You crawl. Then you start walking. Baruch Hashem. Let's say you go to your friend's house and you see that they take their child, they take their baby and they put their baby on, the, on his back. So what are you doing to the child? What are you doing? Suffering. Someone call child services. What are they doing over here? They're making the child suffer. They say, wait one second, one second. You're not married. You don't have any children. You don't know how it goes. This is the step. This is how it goes. First he has to go on his back, then on the stomach, then crawl, and then walk. That's the same thing what happens when we come to this world. I said earlier, Hashem loves us more than any father in the world. Now if a father knows what's best for his son, he puts his son on the back because he wants his son to crawl and then eventually walk. And the father knows what's best for the son. Does Hashem not know what's the best for us? Can we ask, why am I suffering? Because Hashem says, I know what's best for you. This is the step that, this is, this is the procedure that you have to go through. These are the steps. This happens and that happens. And in the aftermath, finally you say, oh, oh, now I got it. Oh, Hashem, thank you so much for the suffering. Now I understood everything that's going on for me in my, in my life.